Today, we're going to take a look at the handwriting recognition engine. Specifically, I'm going to be using the Paycheck Protection Program borrower application form. We're going to see how a batch of those documents can be scanned in. We'll run it through the recognition, picking up handwritten fields, and then with those recognized fields, export them as metadata. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our project. And I already created a batch here for these payroll applications. Now, these can be scanned in from a scanner, or it can also be scanned into a network folder and then go ahead and upload them. Oftentimes we have hot folders or monitored folders keeping an eye on. So when new documents come in, it automatically creates the batch and brings those in. So there's opportunity for automation around every corner. Now, a couple of different things are happening right now. We scan those in. And if we look at our project properties, we can see what's happening in the background. Scanning is the first step. Recognition is where it's going to go through, identify what type of document it is. And then once it knows what type of document it is, it will decide which fields are important to extract from that document. We're then going to go ahead and send it to verification. Now, verification is always an option, but not required. That's going to be where a user logs in and verifies whether a field is correct or not. If it is correct or if they need to correct it, there will be a training batch that happens in the background. So this way, if it's not recognizing the documents 100% right away, it'll learn and become smarter the more documents you scan in. And the final piece is going to be the exports. Now users can access this from the verification station. So if they wanted to log in at a separate workstation, they would be able to go in here and get the task for that batch and see those come in. But in my case, I'm just going to use the project setup station to look at these. So we'll see here that it's recognizing checkboxes and it identified the business type as an LLC. It also identified Prince Paper as the business name and the TIN. And even the phone number came in correctly, even though that's awfully small and my handwriting is not great. Primary contact is Jack. Average monthly payroll, it looks like it got a little bit confused. But what's great about this is we can tell it to look in a certain area and try and extract that. So if we change the size of the box, we'll see that field change. And now it's correct. And that's an example of where it's going to create that training batch in the background. So next time it'll know where to look. Just make a couple of adjustments. And the rest is all correct. We found our address, city, and state. That looks like it was close to the Dunder Mifflin. Just a couple letters off. Now it's still looking for a phone number, but it's not finding it. So it's picking up the dashes. But we can just go ahead and take those out quick. It found our primary contact is Mike. Once again, average monthly payroll, we're going to adjust our field size to tell it what information we actually want. And we'll watch that recognize in real time. It found the multiple items that were checked, payroll as well as lease. It's very good at recognizing checkboxes. And it even pulled in 401 business parks, grant, and PA. So pretty accurate. Once again, sole proprietor for advanced refrigeration. Got our business tin of 24601. Bob Vance is our contact. Average monthly payroll, close, but no cigar. Uh, it looks like it did get that six wrong, or sorry, oh, nope, then it corrected itself to a three. Same thing with request amount. Take that down, take that back. There we have it, number employee seven, payroll and utilities, 403 business parks, Grant and PA. So all in all, Pretty good job. So once we've gone through and verified this, we can save it, select them to be exported. I only have one export location set up, uh, but you can have multiple if you want to save this in a network folder as well. Also, if you only want to save the data and not the actual documents, that's always an option. It can save anywhere from a CSV to an XML. I even have clients that are using EDI. We can see where that's saved. And I have these saving to a temporary Z location, but you can, of course, set these up to save wherever you would like. If we open one of these up, we'll see that it saved the form itself, as well as all of the metadata. So for this one, Prince Paper, business address, city, state, all that information saved in the metadata fields, even the multiple loan purposes separated with semicolon. So there you have it. That's how we can use the handwriting recognition tool and to extract information and save it with metadata. 
I hope you found this helpful. If this is something you could see useful in your organization, please contact us at CDI. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.